Your first thought when I tell you what I'm about to try might be, well, that's a stupid idea. Where did you get that from? Well, the thing is, I found what I think has been one of the best tones that I've ever heard on YouTube. <laughs> I reached out to the guy Carter Arrington. I said, can you talk me through your rig for this? And I was surprised by what he told me when I looked into what the pedals were. And so I wanted to try this. So what I'm gonna be doing for this is basically I'm gonna take a Tate FX Antares, which is like a tube screamer type, an Ibanez metal screamer, which is essentially something like an Ibanez TS-10 tube screamer, right? Then the Gritador from Brown Amplification. Now this is, Again, their take on a Tube Screamer. So we've got three Tube Screamers. I'm going to be going into the Fender Pro Reverb 1965. And let's see where we can end up with this. You might have an idea for where this might end up. I haven't tried this yet. Um, I just know what his rig was. So let's give this a, a whirl. <laughs> This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I sent him uh, an, an Instagram message and just said, you're playing on this is absolutely bonkers. Um, could you talk to me about the rig? Like this is an incredible sounding tone. And so what was actually on his board and has been on his board for years apparently um, is a sex drive, a BB preamp, 
and also the duelist as in the king tone duelist so he's using string slinger side of the duelist which is very much a modded tube screamer i looked up bb preamp and according to people smarter than me that's like a tube screamer but with a baxendale uh, eq um bass and treble essentially that is right instead of like the normal uh, tube screamer tone kind of setup and then apparently the sexton drive is very much tube screamer-esque as well in terms of the schematic so uh that's what essentially gave me this idea he said well it's kind of like those three uh, drives combined uh, then into uh, a Strymon timeline and the amp he was using at the time was a Lazy J um, obviously you've heard of Lazy J amps so I thought an incredible sounding tone uh, I wanted to try it into this Fender Pro Reverb I don't have a, a Tweed amp but essentially I, I think he had the, the amp set fairly clean um, I know a tweed would be more likely to kind of get into breakup than the pro reverb, but in a studio session like that, I presume it was set relatively clean. Um, but just something worth trying if you're into kind of lead tones like me anyway, I just assume, I guess, that we can probably predict what like one tube screamer might sound like. There's our clean. Some of these have a bit more level than others. So, of course, like each tube screamer cloak may have different kind of things going on. Um, you know, they're not necessarily simply just clones. So, one at a time. Okay, let's add another. Okay, so that gets way more gainy and way more compressed. Okay, right, and then if we add a third one. I've got a bright switch on the amp at the minute, if I get rid of that. So let's take the gain down on all of them so they're just a little bit more boosty. And does that get us a bit of a smoother tone? That's actually quite tasty there. Right, so let's just take the gain down, uh, the tre tone down a bit as well. here so I can kind of dial out some of that top endy stuff so they do actually stack into one another surprisingly well If we add a bit more gain.
I don't know, that's kind of quite controllable and quite... <laughs> You know, chucking a, a bunch of these together, not really something that I'd have seriously considered had I not heard Carter's playing. in the way of mids to really get that volume to back off without getting super honky though. Kind of got like a coctoir thing. If I work even better with something like a Timmy up the front which has less of like the mid push. hundred percent that is doing something enjoyable. I once had a board that I did this kind of video joking around. I kind of just chucked all of the tube screamers that I had at the time down on the floor. I think these are now the only three tube screamer variants that I've got. I've got a Zen drive for maybe that could be included in this sort of family as well. But the, the reason that I kind of thought about this, I was seeing this Carter Arrington, Jake sent me this video of his playing uh, with the Funkestra and I just was absolutely blown away by his playing and tone. I think this is quite a nice idea. I don't know if there are any dual tube screamer pedals out there. I think that would be a fairly odd design. But of course we've seen dual blues breakers. Um, Brown amplification make a, a dual blues breaker. King of tone, of course, is the main kind of boy for that. Um, also, brown amplification make a protein, which is a blues breaker and a nobles odr1 but in terms of just having like being able to stack tube screamers together that's not something i really considered before um and it's only really something that's kind of happened sort of by accident i guess on carter's board where it's like well these three pedals are actually very much part of the tube screamer tree and family it's kind of yeah, I think quite a nice idea and actually yield some pretty interesting tones in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Go check out Carter's playing. He's also got a True Fire course, which I'm going to talk to you about now. Carter actually has a True Fire course called Tactical Improv and I checked out some of it uh, yesterday evening and there was in particular a really cool exercise I thought that involved basically you have a drum beat which is kind of doing quite a fusion-y uh, thing where it's sort of you know, going across a bar, and then there'd be a, a hit on the one. And so the job that you do as a guitarist is basically play every time there's a one, like every two bars, and sort of improvise and then hit the one again. It's a really cool uh, kind of exercise. Um, and yeah, there's like a bunch of other things like that that he's talking about and his strategies, how he approaches improvisation. Um, I really was very inspired by his tone and playing in this video. And so, I, I, yeah, I, if you want to dig it more into Carter's playing, check him out on Instagram, check out uh, True Fire. You can use the code GNC40 to get 40% off of his True Fire course. Or if you're part of the All Access membership, then you can, of course, get access to his course for free. You can use the code GNC100 to get $100 off of a year's All Access membership, essentially, uh, when you be able, then be able to dip into, like, Matt Schofield, Robin Ford, Larry Carlton, Andy Timmons, etc. All those amazing players, Eric Johnson. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.